Hello everyone and welcome back. This video I'm going to be showing you and explaining how I manage my time in the summer. So this includes my summer school, my own self-taught learning, and any summer activities I'm doing, for instance the gym. This video I really want to harp on how I manage on a busy day. For instance, I woke up kind of late and I have a lot of assignments for school, but I also want to get to filming YouTube, maybe stream, and I want to do some Python practice problems. How do I manage my time and how do I plan accordingly? I'm going to show you in this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to it. Right off the bat, every night once I wrap up my work for the day, I make sure to dedicate about 15 minutes preparing for the next day. I get this done by writing out everything out in a to-do list form of what I need to get done the next day. This is followed up by estimating the time each task takes. For instance, I have online video lectures so I can make sure to open the links to see how long each lecture is, and I factor in how long it will take to code along to my computer science class lecture. After that, I create an ideal version of my schedule, which includes the estimated time each task takes, with some leeway factored in. It is critical to factor in wiggle room to your schedule because it is better to be ahead in your schedule than to underestimate the time it takes to complete an assignment or task. Also, you cannot forget to add in a lunch break, dinner time, and time spent at the gym. I mentioned that this is an ideal version of the schedule. This is because challenges and obstacles to productivity present themselves so I can't fall too much in love with this schedule. Plus, it is easy to overestimate the work that can be done in a day. I set pretty high expectations for myself, and if I complete most of my goals laid out in the day, I am happy. I also want to mention one thing, don't fall in love with writing your to-dos. What I mean by this is, some people think just because they planned out a day, that means you're being productive. No, that is wrong. You have to execute and grind in order to be productive. Let's go over some of the challenges I face that work against my productivity during the day. First, the most common challenge I face is waking up late on a busy day because I watch too much YouTube before I go to sleep. Most would say, put the phone down, don't watch YouTube, go to bed. Well, I lack that self-discipline putting the phone down, especially considering that it's summer and I wanna enjoy it, so I just don't put the phone down and keep watching YouTube. So I have to look at the problem from a different angle. What do I do? So if I wake up late, that means putting off the less meaningful task off for the later part of the day, and if I don't get to them, I don't get to them and they get pushed to the next day. This is because not everything is a top priority. The things that are top priorities have to get done and those will get done during that day. And if I don't have enough time for the gym, I won't go. And if I don't have time for myself teaching curriculum and YouTube at night, those won't be enjoyed by me because I like the discipline of waking up early at an appropriate time. Something that is really important to mention, every day I'm operating from a position of being ahead in most of my summer classes when I am doing my work. So I can't have a day where I wake up late or a slower day because I'm working ahead. So if I wake up late one day, it won't really affect my due dates and timeline because I am ahead. And the way I operate is if I'm not ahead, I'm behind. Okay, another challenge. What do I do when tasks are just taking longer than expected? This one is most mentally draining because you plan out for a certain period of time of your day and it's taking a lot longer and it's probably challenging and you just don't want to do it anymore, but you have to get it done. So the thing I do when this happens is the same as my previous solution. I get done the top priority things and then I try to grind out as much as I can during the day and push things onto the next day. But this is all relies on the premise that I'm ahead in my classes. And this is easy to follow if you properly time manage from the first day in your class and every single day you have that discipline. For the last challenge I'm covering, I went outside to show you that it's summer, it is not the fall, winter, or spring semester. Therefore, it is time to relax a little bit. On the days you don't feel like doing work, make those days slower. Don't get as much work done, and make sure you enjoy the things that you like doing. For instance, make sure you go to the gym, 
make sure you watch that YouTube and make sure you take your breaks and also eat good on those days. But one thing I want to clarify is don't make the slow day a day you get nothing done. These are the days you make your breakthrough in your progress and your learning or a breakthrough in your projects that you're working on. So really make sure you do some work and keep going and keep chiseling at your goals and get things done because that is important. You don't want to just have a throwaway day because after a while you have a lot of throwaway days and those add up for days you could have made progress. Let's wrap it up here. In this video I explained how I manage my time during the summer where I have summer school, I'm self teaching myself, programming and I'm trying to enjoy myself a little bit considering it's not fall or spring semester and it's a little bit of time to take off so you can prevent the burnout during the school semester. I went over how I write my to-do list every night before I go to sleep on my iPad and then the next day I write out a schedule considering how long each task is gonna take and I also enjoy the gym. I make sure I watch YouTube and I have a little bit of break time in between so where I'm eating lunch, eating my dinner and also just taking a little bit of break from working and grinding. Day in and day out, this is what I love doing. I love working, I love grinding. It's my favorite thing to do. I say I'm a workaholic because I like making YouTube videos, I like programming, I like self-teaching things, and I like just keeping my mind busy. So find and appreciate the little things throughout your day so you can grind, grind, and grind. Doing tasks and getting things done is what fulfills me. So even highlighting and checking things off my to-do list is very rewarding because it tells me that I'm getting things done. Make sure to leave a like, click that subscription button, and leave a comment, tell me what you thought, how you manage your time, and what other videos you expect in the near future. Thank you, closing off. No, don't hit my phone She said you only hit me up when you're alone I told her, baby, sorry, I'm just in my zone I'm tryna get this money, sorry, I'm on my own